Hi, I'm Dave, and I'm at North America's largest single-family home here in Asheville, North Carolina. And you're watching what I'm doing right now. The Voyles have a treadmill desk, and it's the coolest thing. I can burn calories while working. Or while playing. That's cool. One pot belly fat. <laughs> it's so good. Mmm. Okay, we just said goodbye to Josh and Mari. It's time to drive from Salt Lake City to Las Vegas. Did anybody look at the weather today? I don't know how far south all this snow goes. What do you think about Carl Jr. for some lunch? I think you just said that work. Toddly. This is like your pot belly. to the Virgin River Casino. We're gassing up for what is probably the last time this evening. Todd and Nick went to go use the bathroom. I'm just gonna hang out in the car where it's nice and dry and warm. I need to look for an In-N-Out burger. I think right now we're about an hour out of Las Vegas, which is exciting for two reasons. The first being that that means that we're done driving for the day. Second, there's an In-N-Out in Las Vegas. And boy howdy do I like myself some In-N-Out Burger. Do you guys have people in your lives that are as much or more of a fan of fast food chain restaurants than I am? Because I know that I am and I wonder how out of the ordinary that is. You guys in the comments often make me feel like a weird food mutant. But that's just the way I was raised, you know? We made it to the La Quinta. Todd, look at all these stockings. What are the chances one is named Todd? Uh, mm, I don't see Todd. This hotel has no elevators, so we just have to cart all the stuff up by hand. Uh, where are we going? Uh, in and out. Ooh, to, to the big, uh, the big one. Yeah. The one that said, "Hey, look at me." The one that's right down the street. Yeah. Todd, are you ready to have a good conversation? <laughs> yeah, man. Good. I'm always up for a good conversation. Good. I have ten dollars. Ten dollar bill in the, in the pocket. Okay. What's that for? Well, we're in Las Vegas. What are you gonna do with your ten dollars? I might go into a casino and uh, put it on something, or I just may crumble up and throw it into the gutter. Maybe the same thing. The odds are that that is the same thing, but it's not as fun. No, I, it's, you get that little adrenaline spike. Normally, we don't stop here in Vegas. We just go on through. So it would be like another five hours. I think the snow hampered our progress quite a bit. Usually, this should have just been a four and a half hour drive or so. What are you going to get? I'm going to get a double-double. Nick said that he wanted something with no spread. That's, to me, like the thing that makes the burger is the spread. Who calls it spread? They do. They call mayo spread? No, they don't have mayo. They have spread. Oh, okay. <laughs> spread. It's you their mean, Thousand Island uh, oh, ish yeah. sauce. Sure. It's made with love in the back. I was made with love in the back. Yeah. <laughs> that can be taken so many ways. Do you so have ways. any idea how you were conceived? I do know one thing. Uh, my sister was in a crib. You were conceived. Yeah, whilst because your but sister because was we're in a crib. we're fourteen months apart, so she was uh, she was in a crib. You're just saying that she was I don't know if she was in the small. room. You don't know if no, she was no, no. physically in an actual no, crib I, I, at that moment. No, I mean, she could have been. My parents' honeymoon. You know this? Was in Las Vegas. Was that when you, uh, little, little Mikey sw no, swam as well? No, I 
so my parents met at a church retreat and then they dated for like a year or so and then they decided you know it's been fun but this isn't working out we should go our separate way so they broke up and then a week after they broke up my mom found out she was pregnant i'm 30 almost 31 years old and when my dad was my age i was five if i were my dad i would have a five-year-old son right now i do think about that as uh having a kid right now like how that would change my life because Right now, I'm, I'm free as a bird. I just skip around, do what I want. Uh, and then with a the kid, though, you kind of have that changes things. Right now, my head, my headspace is here, and that would be over there. What do you want? I'm gonna just get a double double as well, but with pickles. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you? Can I please get a double double? But can I get pickles added to that? All right. <laughs> and then I'd like to get another double double, also with no onions, but okay. with no pickles. And then I would like to get another double double that has no spread. All right. Would you like onion as well? Does it look like onions? I don't know. Uh, no thanks. Yeah, I'll play it no safe. Onion? Uh, okay. I think that's it. Uh, mustard and ketchup instead of the spread. Yes. Okay. Todd. Mm. She has a name I don't know how to pronounce. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. You Thank too. You. What do you start with? X. Maybe the X is silent. Is her name on this thing? Mm, yeah. X O C H I T L. I've never seen that name before. And she, she's the sixth. <laughs> Maybe her last name is V. Oh, I need to find out what time. I forgot things are actually happening when we get to California. Oh. Nicole is flying into California tomorrow. So is Caitlin. Right, but Nicole's flying in way earlier. So Stefan's family is planning to leave Anaheim, drive to LAX, pick up Nicole go to dinner, go back home before I have to leave for LAX oh. to pick up Caitlin. So I need to find out what time they're leaving Anaheim earlier in the day. Oh, I have a text from Nick. Oh, he wants a diet drink. Uh, no thanks. Is it possible for us to add a drink to the order here? A drink? Uh, a diet? A diet? What size? Uh, uh, medium. Medium? Thanks, man. That was very nice of him. It is. We'll get five stars. What's the rating system for uh, Yelp? Is it five out of five? Uh, I don't, I'm not I a Yelper. Know. I don't know. Thank you. I have one more question. Yeah. You have an employee back there whose name starts with an X. Do you know how to pronounce her name? Soshi. Soshi? Soshi. Yes. Soshi. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. There we go. Soshi. Interesting. Yeah, I would never have guessed that. It would have been completely off. So she was like, I'm just full of puns tonight. <laughs> so punny. Uh, where are you going, bud? I don't know take, where take, I am. Flip, I need to around. go the other way. Yes. I think I just hit the wall. Uh oh. Like, right now? Right now. It's like, you need to go to sleep. Well, why don't you eat this burger? So I'm going to eat that burger and then I'm going to close my eyeballs. Oh, yeah. That wall, you just kind of uh, push it my way and I just uh, <laughs> headbutted it. For me, I can't just go into a, like, go in and lay right down, go to sleep. I have to wind down before I get to that point. I'll watch a little something or I'll play a little game or something. For actually as long as I can remember, I've suffered from tinnitus, the, the like, ring. sort of ringing in the ears. Yeah. Um, but within the, that. within the last couple of years, it's gotten a little bit worse. It's, it's not a bad case of it at all. But if I'm in a totally quiet room, it is a little bit distracting. So if... <laughs> If in our uh, a new sound editing suite, if it was like a like a quiet room, that would be death to you. It wouldn't be death. I would just be like, oh, I can hear that. I didn't sound. know. I didn't know you had that. Is, this, is that from just uh, like uh, you, something you did, or was it just a natural? I thing? I have no idea. And it, it's it's constant, huh? Mm -hmm. But because of that, I find it easier to go to sleep if I turn on Netflix and yeah. just have like Futurama <laughs> playing at kind of a low volume. Level my or my uh, friend's boyfriend, uh, he asked us. You always had to have a TV on or something. Otherwise, it's it's pretty bad. I can I can fall asleep in a quiet room. There's a little bit of distraction. Well, you know, Michael, we learn things about each other new every day. Mm -hmm. Someone's like, "Hey, what's what's one thing about Michael or Ronda? I'll Be like, "Well, did you know?" Well, Todd, thanks for the good conversation. It's been a great conversation. Mm -hmm.